city Bisho is one of the oldest villages in the province Piltin village. It was founded back in 1848 as a station of the London Missionary Society. The village was named after Sir Robert Peel, who is the former Prime Minister of Britain and uh, First Lord of the Treasury. Robin Islander and former Safety and Security Minister Steve Vogilejwete hails from this very village. In 2002, the struggle icon was buried in his home village in a state funeral and let's now say good morning to Yanga who is our reporter down there in the Eastern Cape and I believe that Yanga has uh, uh, some pretty interesting things and insights uh, to share with us. A very good morning to you Pal, and to our viewers. Uh, you are coming to us live indeed from Pilton, a village which is just a stone throw from the Bisho capital of the Eastern Cape. Uh, this village is quite a historic village as you would uh, know that uh, there are people who are very prominent who, re who hail from this region. Um, as I'm saying, as I'm talking to you now, I'm with uh, one of the villagers, um, Mr. Fezile Ganga. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fezile Ganga is a grandson of Mr. Ganga who worked closely with uh, Reverend uh, 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 Barrett. Uh, sir, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I'll hold it for you. Okay. Good morning. Uh, tell us what's the most important thing about this village? The most important things about this village, first is education. Hmm. And another thing which is very important for this village has got fertile soil. Hmm. This soil fertility has caused this village to produce a lot of crops, more especially maize, wheat, barley and bed seed. So let, let's talk about uh, its significance uh, in, in the political space. I understand that Dr. W. P. Khubusan uh, was uh, taught in this church, which is the Pilton Congregational Church, uh, which served as a multi-purpose center. And also uh, Steve Vugilachwete is one of the graduates of this school. Tell us about that. Yes. Steve Chwete is born and bred in this location and was educated here in this school. And his results for Standard 6 were reported here in this church. As he was a very brilliant guy, who used to have stars in his certificate. He was here, he was here. And this village was very fond, very fond of education. The first racial school here in South Africa started here mm. at Revenbert in, 1850, in 1859. When we opened a girl's school with 15 school boarders of all nations. And this place, besides that, Reverend Bert was a very brilliant guy who told the people who stay here must not marry girls outside or girls must not marry somebody outside because the wealth and luxury of this place must just stay in this place, not anywhere else. I understand that uh, Mr. Pert was also influential in ensuring that there are clinics around this region. Let's talk about that. Yes. And the clinics also are, uh, 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 have been built in this because his aim was to build a church and a hospital. But unfortunately, the Grey Hospital was already built by Reverend Brownlee, although it was taken by Sir George Grey as Grey Hospital. And besides that, uh, there are many, many, many people. Look, for instance, this man, Dr. Khubusar, who was educated here. He was a very small boy. He was so brilliant. Him and Mr. Pinke were the boys of the school, were taught ministry in the vestry here. They, do, they didn't go to school. They just went to school for examinations. Everything was from Reverend Barrett. And those people were very, very brilliant. There are many people who are so brilliant here because m m most of politicians come from this place. Yeah. 
And that's thank you very much, sir. Okay. Uh, and that's of course Mr. Ganga uh, telling us about the history of this village. Uh, before it became built in, it was Nemeha. It was named after a local river here. Uh, this uh, area is one of the areas that are characterized by poverty, but uh, the provincial government is in the business of turning around those fortunes by ensuring that most of these sites, including uh, Steve Tretter's grave, is uh, one of the sites which are to form the liberation struggle route which will tour the Eastern Cape and attract a lot of tourists. As for me, Yanga Funani and Vyogas Funani behind the lens, it's back to you in Joburg.